Hello, my name is Arthur, and in this video we're going to get a start on making a first fixed position type of weapon. So it'll be a turret weapon with a fixed base. And I'm thinking that fixed position weapons for now will just be enemy things. So maybe something along the lines of an enemy fortification that the player has to breach somehow or something like that. So we'll go into Blender and we'll make that. So let's select everything and get rid of it. We'll go to a front view and I found an image we'll use as a rough reference. So this is what I was thinking, something along this lines, except this is just a loose reference and we'll make it into something that'll fit for a fixed position. So I'm not going to try to make this gun exactly. Um, that video would be too long. So we'll make something sort of loosely based on it and then model up some kind of a base maybe in the next video and give the base the enemy um, camouflage color so I'm gonna start off I think with um, well we'll have to add in an object so we'll start in with the cylinder so we'll make a cylinder and then we'll make some materials So let's say three materials. There's about three colors there. So one would be in a black range. One would be a silver. So we'll come off white and we'll make that one particular metallic. And we'll make the black one a little metallic too. I don't know how much this is going to stick in um, in Godot, but we'll just kind of fix it in Godot. And then we'll give some kind of uh, green. That's kind of in range of what's there. If we can get it close to that. And that way we can assign materials to things as we go and have them have the ability to separate them by material so we'll just um geez I don't want to delete that now that I've made it but we're going to delete it in um in vertis in edit mode so the object and the materials will stay but I can deal with the cylinder's nature because I should have dealt with the cylinder's nature first. So now we'll be able to call up the dialogue and let's dial back on the vertices. It doesn't need that many. So we'll go at 16 for the start. Uh, maybe a little more, maybe 24. That should be good. We'll rotate that on Y by 90 degrees. And we'll scale it on X first. And do something like that with it. We'll scale it down a bit. And let's get the move tool so we can sort of start putting it roughly in place and we can scale that down a little bit and we'll call that good let's go into faces let's get this one extrude it scale it bring it out a little bit to give it that shape we'll select all we'll assign that a black material which it probably already has so we'll go in material mode so we can actually see that material on it then we're going to 
shift duplicate that make sure we're in the front view rotate it 180 degrees pull it through onto the other side so something like that then we can shift duplicate that rotate it 180 degrees and we'll assign it um, the silver material and that'll be okay so let's see what do we have there that didn't rotate rotate 180 there we go so we'll scale that down limiting X and we'll just do something we'll try around that size and we'll scale it on X and pull it out a little bit so go something like that in wireframe we'll go to a side view We'll shift snap the cursor to that selection and then we'll bring that selection out. Period. Rotate around 3D cursor. Shift duplicate. Rotate 30 degrees. And yeah, we might want to do this. So let's go individual origins and we'll scale them until they hit each other so something like that and then we'll go back to this so we'll shift duplicate rotate 30 and we need to go back to 3d cursor rotate 30 shift duplicate rotate 30 keep repeating that until it fills in And of course, we can do something like this too. Um, and rotate 60 degrees. So you can increase your count each time and just rotate by an additional 30 degrees. So if you have two, you rotate um, 60. If you have three, you can duplicate three and rotate um, 90. I think that would work too. Either way, that fills it in. So now we have the grenades in our launcher. Um, now I think I would go with a cube. So we'll just scale that. Um, something probably around there. And come up. Then let's scale that, or let's push it back like this. So we'll just kind of push it in there. Three, nine, to get to the back side. And we'll loop cut somewhere around there. Should work. Go into faces, get our move tool. And do something like this oh that's got us right there so we can extrude that out um, we can probably come out all the way like this then it, do another loop cut so we could loop cut like this and that would work our move tool faces one extrude something like that shift add in a cylinder rotate 90 degrees scale it down let's pull it out of there and come up here sort of deal we'll go period to get back to medium point so our tool isn't getting lost 
look at that front view scale it somewhat kind of like it's going to be launching the grenades maybe pull it down a little bit get some of the round sticking out of the bottom <clears throat> let's see that from this view let's scale that on X something like this and pull it in we could probably pull that down some more and scale it down some more then maybe go into vertices pull this muzzle out some that did not work out um, control Z wireframe then pull that out faces extrude scale extrude push it in um, let's see what do we have here we're in faces let's go back into material mode and turn off x-ray one extrude um, scale Y scale Y do something like that um, scale on Y do something like that maybe throw in one more loop cut here and cut it there and then we can go back into faces get our move tool grab these scale y so something like that um snap cursor to selected shift add cylinder one scale pull that back scale it in a little bit more scale it on Z so it's big and we'll scale it on Z so it's a little bit more technically that will be part of the base and kind of where the gun rotates so we could probably make that visually make a little bit more sense if we scaled this up some and made it like it's heavier and bigger so kind of balance it out a little bit um, L will give this this material um, we never actually used the green I don't know where did the green go on the image yeah maybe we won't use that so much after all doesn't matter we can just delete that material and call it good so we could come up here snap cursor to selected shift add another cylinder Go into a one, rotate it 90 degrees, scale it down, um, pull it up, something like that, scale it down a little bit more, and grab this face, pull it out, extrude it, scale it, push it in. Um, that was wrong. Control Z. Extrude it. Push it in. Do the same kind of thing on this side. Extrude scale. Extrude. Push it in. And that just kind of looks like a sight. 
So that's not bad for a quick ro rocket launcher. And um, yeah, in the next video, we'll make some kind of a simple base for it to sit on. We'll separate this part and make that part of the base. And let's see. About the last thing to do for this is to um, probably look at it like this. Um, we would get the Z location right here. Global. Copy it. So we'll copy that location. We'll give it to this row of vertices. Control paste. We'll shift snap cursor to selected. Tab into object mode. Object. Set origin to 3D cursor. Now our pivot is in the right place. So the gun will pivot on that exact point and then this doesn't need to be on that origin because this will be part of a different piece. So we would just take that P separate selection. Um, this would be grenade grenade launcher and this would be fixed position so in the next video we'll model up a simple fixed position for this and get it into Godot and make it into an enemy position. And I hope this was useful. Until the next video, take care.